Okay, tonight we have the Samsung Gravity 2. It is from T-Mobile. It's a slider phone. This phone does power on, but unfortunately the screen does not. So, seeing it doesn't have a touch screen, we're going to assume that it is the LCD. Um, the phone cost me $10. I got it off somebody online. And the LCD will cost you anywhere from 10 to 15 the fix is $25. The sell is $60 with a possible profit of $30. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into fixing this phone. It's not a very hard one, it's just a couple of parts. Okay, from here we're going to go ahead and pull apart the back now that we have released all of the pry tools. And of course this is my first time uh, disassembling this so we have to take it very carefully. A lot of phones have a, um, a uh, cable right over here. And it's just this little antenna wire. Go ahead and pop that up. That pops up. You can come over here. And of course with most slider phones there's this little uh, connector over here and that pops up. We see one up here that comes up. So that's all three. Okay now that we've removed all three connectors, the antenna, the regular one and then the red on top, we can go ahead and lift up this entire motherboard. Uh, make sure you go ahead and lift the speaker up with it. Place that off to the side. Uh, on the bottom here, this is of course my first time doing this, uh, we see four screws and we see several others that are components for the other side of the board. Now, what most people like to do is they like to pull up this flux cable uh, here that, so you'd be undoing that screw and uh, you would undo all four of these that would connect the slider. Unfortunately, I don't like to do that. It's too complicated. It gets in the way. So I'm going to go ahead with another option that I've tried. Well, it might actually be easier to go that route now that I'm looking at it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do the four. And we'll go ahead and move this one and see where that takes us. Okay, so I went ahead and took a couple minutes and we went ahead and looked at it. And there's actually a screw down here uh, towards the end of it. And uh, this is where the antenna goes in towards the bottom of the phone. There's just one screw on there that's silver that you can take out. And then you can take off this entire piece here. Uh, you don't want to put, put it too far. The whole thing that you're trying to get to is to get this orange piece off so that you can get to the LCD. Now, instead of moving the slider component, completely removing that, what we can do is we can pull off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, and that way we'll be able to get the uh, plate off without having to mess up the entire sliding component. Once you mess up that sliding component, it's very hard to get it back on. Okay, so we went ahead and removed the eight screws, the um, two in the back, and then the six up on top. Uh, but I did notice that there are another two screws, I'm sorry, four all together sitting back here. So we can actually get to those and pull it up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those, and then we'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and pry all the way around the orange piece, and then pull it up. Okay, we went ahead and took out those screws in the back, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, pry up the back here. Pry it up so it's loose. Again, I don't really know what's going to be on the other side of this, so we're just going to take it nice and easy. Uh, of course, as always, it's going to be connected to the LCD, so you want to be really careful here.
It's pulling a little bit. This is what the inside looks like. I'm looking now for a place to disconnect it without actually yanking it off. Uh, that's what the inside looks like. Let's see if I can't find a uh, connector here. I'm being very delicate with it because okay, it looks like it looks like we have this entire piece here. This flex cable is connected into this connector at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and see where that takes us. Always being careful, of course. Okay, something interesting I noticed when pulling this up is that these connectors are actually opposite of what you're used to. Um, the middle one that goes up here to the microphone, the black piece pops up, but on the sides, it's going to be the more brown, light brown uh, piece that pops up and goes up, not the black piece. So you want to go ahead and do that, and then you can remove the uh, cables. one two and three okay those are all removed uh, below we have a green board uh, that looks like it's for the keypad there's the keypad for it uh, all right we'll go ahead and pop the keypad out because we don't need that and uh, get the rest of this up in a second here. I, the only thing I, I have to say about this is I feel like I'm missing a major step where I should be peeling off the L LCD. Uh, this should have already came off. So there's there's another connected point that I'm missing. Uh, usually you can just yank these up. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get the entire LCD out now. Of course, as always, it's never an easy pull, but there it is. We've got that apart now. That's the uh, back, that's the front of the phone here. Um, as far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with the actual screen itself. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Uh, the flex cable here, though, is still boggling me. So I'm going to take some further inspection into it and see if we can't get that pulled off. Okay, and then for the finish of it, it looks like it just comes off. It's just some kind of adhesive that's uh, glued to the LCD, and that just easily comes off. Uh, the, the piece that we did pull today was the uh, LCD. Um, the rest of it here is going to stay. That's the uh, flex cable that we want to be very careful with, because if we don't, it's going to mess up the display. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put all the parts into a bag because I don't have the LCD with me today, but when I have it, uh, I will finish the project. Thank you.